idol, huwag kalimutan i-like and subscribe ang aking channel and i-click na rin notification bell para updated ka sa mga bago kong video. Ngayon nga ay nag-umpisa na ang Game 1 ng NBA Finals ng Los Angeles Lakers kontra sa Miami Heat. Ngayon ay inyong panoorin kung paano pinataob at tinambakan ng Los Angeles Lakers ang Miami Heat. Ito at inyong panoorin. Mike, the minutes they played without LeBron James to score 65 points when he's two for six and only gets six points, it's an incredible feat. And it's an incredible feat for the Lakers, but if I'm Eric Foster, I gotta, I gotta tell Mike, we have to win that battle. When we have that opportunity, we have to capitalize. Davis had a terrific first half with 18 points. James is going to try a long three-pointer, knocks it down. He's two for two from downtown, and it's back up to 17, 12 points for LeBron James. And the Lakers go back as Hero starts the second half for Dragic. And I don't see Dragic on the bench, but... Davis hands it off. Ball will pop inside. Howard... And a foul on the floor. Shot won't count. He'll take it out of bounds. Foul goes against Tyler Hero, his first. And Tyler Hero and Iguodala had a rough first half. They were, they're plus minus. One, uh, Hero's was minus 30 and Iguodala's was minus 29. That's hard to do in a half. James gets inside, draws another foul. And he'll head to the free throw line where he's four for four. Lakers are a perfect 10 for 10. And LeBron James has always read the game incredibly. But he is basically the one guy playing chess right now on the floor. Pulls it out, forces a switch, and then everybody out of my way. It's simple basketball, but it's when he's at his best. This is the first. And when Duncan Robinson gets switched out onto LeBron James, they have to do what I, the Lakers did to James Harden. They have to come. They have to get that ball and make it swing to the weak side, regardless of how well they shot the three in the first half. James goes one for two. Well, one thing I wouldn't do is I wouldn't switch so easily. They would have to force me to switch. They anyway, just got word. Goran Dragic has a left foot injury and right now is doubtful to return. Crowder misses. Dwight Howard rips down the rebound. It's an 18 point advantage right now. So Dragic out, Butler hobbling. Puts a thin roster. Dragic has been their leading scorer. Davis stumbles, but somehow it gets his way to Danny Green, and Danny Green hits another, his third three-pointer. The Lakers are absolutely on fire from downtown, 13 of 19, and the lead is ballooned to 21. Butler finds Dan Adebayo. gets past Howard, now kicks it out. Crowder's going to get another look. And Crowder, as the shot clock expires, able to knock down the three. They do a great job of continuing to play after the initial action. Very few teams keep moving, keep cutting, keep passing, and have patience late in the shot clock. Great find by Jimmy Butler. Butler's fifth assist. James drives down, kicks it out Davis. Davis with the three-pointer. Dwight Howard, the offensive rebound, back to Davis, and Davis is fouled by Crowder. Well, these free throws are presented by YouTube TV, with 85 plus live channels, personalized recommendations, and unlimited DVR. YouTube TV is TV made yours. Try it free. You know, there's incredible stories all throughout these finals. Play is one of the greatest stories to me, which is truly inspiring to anybody out there dreaming and dreaming big. 
when you look at Frank Vogel and Eric Spolster, two head coaches of these basketball teams with an opportunity to win a championship, both guys started in the video room. Incredible story. And they did it the right way. For Spolster, it's his 25th year with the Heat, 12th as head coach. For Frank Vogel, it's his first year with the Lakers, ninth year as a head coach in the NBA. And you're right, Mark, that's how they started. They both did advanced scouting, worked their way up through the organization. It's quite possible that Eric Spolstra spends his whole NBA career with one team. He might work for 50 years in the NBA, and it could all be with the Miami Heat. That would be absolutely incredible. Davis, second and third efforts that Anthony Davis wanted a foul as he overpowers the Heat. And right now, the Lakers pouring it on. It's a 22-point lead and 22 points for Anthony Davis. Just too small. And Davis too tall and too talented. Pursuing the basketball, outworking everybody, and enjoying it with enthusiasm. Gains up top to Kuzma. Fakes, drives, gets inside, finds Davis for the slam. Anthony Davis, 16 points. Now this is the largest lead of the half. Frank Vogel went to his bench and they did not disappoint. You know, Jimmy Butler didn't disappoint there. Nice banker and foul. Duncan Robinson. James gets right up on Adebayo and raises his hand and says, yes, I committed a foul. <laughs> That's the second. And you look at the all-time playoff ranks. The most wins in NBA playoff history, the most minutes, the most points, the most steals. He's moving up very quickly on assists. And this is his 255th playoff game. 255. Jimmy Butler, a contested shot. Rattles out. Dwight Howard, the rebound. And you can make the case as crazy as it sounds that we have taken LeBron James and his greatness for granted. Well, that's what happens when, when and all the great players, they start putting up these numbers, and that's the true sign of greatness when, when you just say, oh, okay, he had a good game, when they just keep putting up these remarkable numbers night in and night out. Out of bio, got poked in the face. on James's third. In each game, one lucky fan can win beer for a year if either team reaches 95 points. Hashtag tweet, hashtag ultra beer bonus, and hashtag sweepstakes at Mental of Ultra for a chance to win. I think Ginobili needs that beer for a year as we see Robin Roberts, Manu Ginobili in the stands. The great Robin Roberts, one of the most beloved people in our industry. Absolutely. Lakers by 24, Lakers by 26, Anthony Davis has 24, and Eric Spolster right now needs another timeout. An avalanche here from the Lakers in game one, dominating. Just over four minutes gone by here in the third quarter, and the Lakers a 26-point lead. No matter how far back you go, we've never seen anything quite like this. Two teams who overcame the unthinkable. Tyler Hero! Let's get it out of here! Who will be remembered when the last chapter is written? Davis 4 3 in the win! Oh, it's the it. NBA Finals you love, like we've never seen them before. Watch the NBA Finals live. Came off of it, honey. That certainly could be where he got the injury. Now, I saw Goran come out of the Heat locker room, appear to be going toward the court for the second half, but he was with a Heat staffer. They were on the phone with someone. They stood there for a little bit before you get to the actual court area and then walk back to the locker room. And again, he is doubtful to return, Mike. That's a huge blow for them. It's called while Polk misses but gets fouled on the three-point attempt. Dragic averaging just under 21 per game. He's been their leading scorer in the playoffs. He's just been marvelous. Here's the play in that first half. Now right 
there, that second step with the foot. And Eric Spolster right now playing without him. So Kendrick Nunn, the rookie, has checked in for him. Out of Iowa, drives down the lane! The Heat are going back to the NBA Finals. Don't ever play to lose, ever. Pass deflected by Butler, tries to save it, and Butler throws it down! Oh! It's not the Heat way. Now it's the Laker way. They have thrown a haymaker here. And this Kendrick Nunn, who was the starter all season long. Dragic came off the bench. Nunn had a great regular season, made all rookie first team, but then he tested positive for the virus, so he missed time there. Had to leave the bubble, went back. And since he came back, he just has not played well, completely out of rhythm. Obviously, in many ways, understandable with getting sick as Adebayo draws the foul. And they hope that none can maybe regain a little something out of bio is, is shaken up on that play. And he'll head to the free throw line. A 29 point lead for the Lakers. Well, Mike, going back to that, uh, as, by the way, that's that same, that's the left, he had that left elbow, left wrist injury happen in in game four against the Celtics, struggled in game five, and then he was just magnificent in game six. And he gets the free throw, Duncan Robinson's gonna check in that game. Sorry, Mark. No, 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 going back to that Dragic play, it didn't look like he stepped on Rondo's foot at all. The first step, no, that second step, it looked like there was some kind of contact, no. To me, the replay, it didn't look like it, but about the heat. He's a valuable piece to this this team and a, a different monster when he's in the game creating havoc offensively. Dwight Howard, seven rebounds. Anthony Davis has had his way. Sets, fires, and hits. 26 for Anthony Davis. He's 10 of 16 from the field. He has six boards, has five assists, a block shot. There's none, gets a pass inside out of Iowa. Little ball fake, can't get it to fall. He's just two of seven from the field. Coming off that dominant performance in game six against the Celtics. James the Jeffrey. As we approach the midway point here in the third. Out of Bio. Just can't get it to fall, James with his ninth rebound, pushing the ball. Bounce pass inside, Davis again, the slam. Good luck from Dwight Howard. And the Lakers are having their way, and out of aisle in some real discomfort. For the high-powered moments, driving us into the end game with Morris Garages. Expect extraordinary plays of the finals. Of course, anything but normal in this NBA bubble. Shot blocked, Jalen Brown. Here's Tatum, runs, oh, and throws it down. Denver a foul to give. Jokic trying to disrupt Rondo. He puts it in. Here's Davis, 4-3 in the win. Oh, it's good! Anthony Davis! And those were the top plays of... That same arm that's bothering him. Kelly Olenek has come in, so Olenek... Kendrick Nunn, Andre Iguodala. Iguodala goes across the lane, lost it, got it back. Shot goes up, bounces around and drops through. He gets his first, second field goal. Well, these are big minutes for Nunn and Olenek to try to work their back, their way back into the rotation for Eric Spolstra and give him more speed in Nunn's case and more size in Olenek's case. These are not just blowout minutes. Again, Nunn was just had such a good rookie year. Feeds quickly, and Olenek a quick bucket there. Olenek, an excellent offensive player off the bench. If you're the Lakers, I mean, Olenek and Nunn are good enough to impact not just the game, but the series. You have to make sure I don't allow them to establish rhythm and get something going. Rondo's in the bench in the first half. Scored 20 points for the Lakers. Caldwell Pope misfires there, and the rebound goes to none. Jimmy Butler with a three. Oh, it's Howard. 
Howard Davis, Danny Green, Caldwell Pope, and Rajon Rondo. Rondo pass inside to Green. Howard wants the ball. And he's fouled by Olenek. Well, coach, you got to give a lot of credit to Dwight Howard, JaVale McGee. Not sure whether he was going to play or not. Every time they were called upon, they were ready. And especially in the case of Dwight Howard. Don't at me, don't tweet me. The guy is a future Hall of Famer. He has the credentials that puts him there. He will be there. But give him credit for staying ready, staying prepared, and impact. His career really revived in L.A. this year. This past summer of 2019, he was traded from Washington to Memphis. Memphis waved him. He'd gone pretty much, because it was his 15 and five years when he signed with the Lakers, he'd gone from, as you say, a Hall of Fame career mark, franchise player, to a journeyman who, who wears out his welcome quickly. But he signed a non-guaranteed deal with the Lakers, he embraced the role that he was asked to take. And it's, it's amazing, of all teams to come back to, he had a one year with the Lakers and it didn't end well. He'd come back as an opponent and get booed every time at the Staples Center, but this year he played his role beautifully. Well, Mark's right, without question, he's a three-time Defensive Player of the Year, NBA All-First Team. He had a serious back injury that limited his mobility, but where he got caught up was he wanted to be a primary focus offensively. He wanted the ball to go into the low post. When he came to L.A., he accepted. We're going to play through LeBron. We're going to play through LeBron. Second NBA Finals, the first one was in Orlando when he played for the Magic. Passes to Anthony Davis, a couple with his left hand. Kyle Kuzma finds Caruso. Caruso from the corner. 89-61, a 28-point advantage as we approach three minutes remaining here in the third. Pass deflected out of bounds by Davis. You know, Davis's offensive numbers are just off the charts and sometimes overshadow what a, what a great defensive player he is. Runner-up defensive player of the year this year to Giannis Antetokounmpo. None misses. Here comes Caruso. Falling away, shot, rolls off the rim, fight for the rebound, goes to Duncan Robinson. The heat shooting is down to 39%. But this L.A. Laker team, they are a tremendous defensive team. Olenek fouled by Kuzma to the free throw line. Heat have only taken seven free throws. Well, the census is an essential component of our democracy. Time is running out. Make sure you get counted today at my2020census.gov before the deadline. Timeout. Two and a half remaining here in game one. Except for the opening minutes, it's been all Lakers. Lakers by 24. Lakers by 26. Anthony Davis has 24. And Eric Spolster right now. Needs another timeout. Like we can't do it well. You just said a word right there. That was strong. <laughs> That's the truth. And some guys I've, I've coached just babble back there. They, I mean, it's just words. They're just throwing out random, like, words. <laughs> Like, holy gully. Me, well, no, that's not a coverage, my man. Let me guess. You got some guys that you want to name. <laughs> you just... No. It's been burning for, for no, years. No, well, yes. <laughs> We're not going to get one name? Not no. specific? No. Because you know what that's a sign of? Bad teaching. No, that's not true. I've seen you teach as good as you can possibly teach, and I've seen some guys low assignments. Yeah, but not when they're babbling just incoherent words that mean nothing defensively. What was it, holy gully? Uh, yeah, I'm just making up a word. That was my junior college coach. He had an offense called holy gully. But it's that sort of thing. Holy gully, you know? James gets inside, goes reverse, left-handed. And it's back up 91-63. He's got 17 points, 9 boards, and 7 assists. It's unbelievable watching him 
this late in his career, still dominating and still putting his team in position to win it all. Quick jumper from Kendrick Nunn won't fall. And it looks a lot of fouls going to go against the Lakers. And to me, it's not the years. I think the years minimizes what he's been able to do. It's the miles. Think about the amount of minutes that this guy has been on a basketball floor from the start of the season until June in most cases. I don't like the whole comparison thing about who's better, but I would say at the end of his career, LeBron James, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, you're going to be able to make a case that one of them, and I would say LeBron James, is going to have the best career. Does that mean he's the best player? That's up for anybody else to debate. But when you can lead like all those categories we saw in the playoffs, he most likely will be the all-time leading scorer. That's not his best quality, which is his passing. I mean, you're talking about a career longevity-wise that's unparalleled other than Kareem. Davis misses Butler the rebound. Kareem, by the way, in his 17th year, and he was 38 at the time, as Duncan Robinson can't hit, he averaged over 23 a game, played 79 games, 33 minutes a game, and made first team All NBA. Now, when I, I saw him up there, he was in the Michelob uh, student section. Like, I think he could come out at whatever his age is today and get 10 today. <laughs> I do. Don't do that. Sis. I do. No, don't do that. Five, five no. sky hooks. No. Even, even the captain doesn't no. agree with that. He's nodding his head. In the... <laughs> six MVPs, six titles. Kuzma can't get at the ball. Robinson, the rebound. Loose ball foul is going to go against Miami. By the way, Kareem right now is 73 years old. All right, maybe eight. <laughs> but, I mean, these numbers... It's just, it's, I mean, it's mind-blowing, really. It's Wally Golly. It just brought some random words. <laughs> so Davis back to the line. He's four for four from the line. The sixth in the NBA in free throw attempts this year. And that's one of the things Eric Spolster said that makes him so difficult is he, he for a big guy, he gets to the line so easily. This game is so versatile on the offensive end. But he was already great before he became a teammate of LeBron James. LeBron James has made him even better. Yeah, I don't think Anthony Davis has changed. His circumstances have changed. Another 30-point game here in the bubble for Anthony Davis as we get into the final minute of the third quarter. Olenek way outside. And James will slowly bring it up. They had last play on Saturday, so LeBron James got some good rest three days off in between games. As Caruso tries the corner three. Rebound Kendrick Nunn. Shot clock is turned off. Lakers don't have a foul to give. Drive gets inside. Nice layup from Nunn. Uh, Rajon Rondo is shaking up. He's at half court, leaning over. That shot is a little shake it up. Well, a dominant performance so far here in game one of these NBA final games. Close to another playoff triple double. Dwight Howard got the start, did an excellent job on Bam out of Iowa, and Davis has been spectacular. This presentation of the NBA Finals continues after this message and a word from our eight.